You're watching KEYC News Now. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm Holly Bernstein, and we begin with our top story for the night. A young boy has sustained multiple significant injuries after being struck by a vehicle while riding a Razor electric dirt bike. The driver of the vehicle, 17-year-old Kyle Leroy Jeske, was driving south on Jefferson as the young boy was west in the alley from the 0100 block of Center Street. The boy on the bike entered the street and was struck. According to a GoFundMe set up by the family, the boy has been airlifted to to the cities. The GoFundMe says he has a head injury and a punctured lung. He was unresponsive and has gone into surgery. A 66-year-old Morton man was killed Friday when he drove his ATV out of a ditch and was hit by a minivan on Highway 71 in Renville County. Authorities say Richard A. O'Neill died shortly after 10.30 p.m. That was Friday when his ATV was traveling east from the West Ditch when he drove in front of the minivan and was struck. The Minnesota State Patrol said 46-year-old Conrad Rainey of Red Lake was driving the van. Both he and his passenger were taken to Redwood Falls Hospital with non critical injuries. A portion of Lookout Drive outside of Casey's is now open after a two-car collision. The North Mankato Fire Department and the North Mankato Police Department both responded to the scene. Police say two people were transported to Mayo Clinic Health System in Mankato with non-life-threatening conditions, but there were no fatalities. One man was shot and another wounded outside a funeral at a North Minneapolis church. Officers responded at 12.41 p.m. Friday to a report of shots fired outside of Shiloh Temple. Police spokesman John Elder says the shooter fled, but officers later stopped the suspect vehicle and arrested several people. Elder says one man in his 20s was hospitalized in critical condition and died about two hours later. The shootings took place just after the funeral for one of two men killed outside a nightclub. Eight people also were wounded in that incident. Well, a vigil began at 7 o'clock at Spring Lake Park this evening to remember Abdirahman Abdullahi, who drowned last Saturday. Abdullahi was a fourth grader at Hoover Elementary School. Megan Gray has more.